Hi, welcome to my course Selenium with C-Sharp.NET for beginners course with .NET 8 and C-Sharp 12. This course is built entirely from ground up with the latest and the greatest version of .NET 8 and C-Sharp 12 with Visual Studio 2022 and Windows 11 operating system. But before we get into the course agenda, who am I and what I do, I have been working as a test automation architect and consultant for past 17 years. I have been teaching over 300,000 plus students in Udemy and close to 100,000 YouTube subscribers. I got the privilege of working with tools like Selenium, Cypress, Playwright, CI-CD pipelines, microservices and AI technologies and many more automation testing supporting tools which helps automation testing much better and helps testing the applications in a much better fashion. And with all these experience, I'm sure that I could deliver this course in a much, much better fashion. Well, as I said, the agenda of the course is going to look something like this. We're going to start with the introduction of the course where we'll be talking about how Selenium works and how to install Selenium and get you started with the Selenium itself. And then we'll be talking about some of the foundational elements of Selenium, something like Selenium library and its code in depth, understanding the Selenium locators, working with different locators like the UI elements and getting you ready with the Selenium foundational elements. And then we'll be talking about the concept like page object models and how you can build an abstract code of the application UI in a separate class file and how you can use that within your test. And then we'll be talking about data-driven testing by using NUnit, JSON file and how you can fuse them all together. And then we'll also be talking about NUnit test framework and how you can use the power of NUnit to your test. And then we'll be talking about assertions, how do you do various assertions for your test, cross-browser testing, and then Selenium Grid to do a distributed testing. And while we have all these set up in place, we'll also be doing reporting of our tests and hence we'll have reporting. And then we also need to have what is called as continuous integration and continuous delivery with GitHub and GitHub Actions. So this is the agenda of the course. And at the end of this course, you'll have an absolute knowledge of how you can build Selenium with zero to all the way to deploy a Selenium test code in the CI CD pipeline. I'm quite excited for this course. I'm sure you love the course like how I did while building this course. So once again, thank you so much for choosing this course. Catch you from our first section of this course.